Amy is an astronaut. She had spent months preparing for a space journey that would take her outside of the solar system. During the trip, she landed on another planet in an unknown galaxy. She began to explore the city and its citizens. Very soon, though, she felt the need to go to the restroom. She saw two doors leading to the ladies' and gentlemen's bathrooms and got confused. She didn't speak the local language and couldn't ask which door was for men and which was for women. Thankfully, she met a local guide, Bo, who could understand English. However, he could only speak his native language. What two questions should Amy ask to figure out the right door? She should point at one of the doors and ask, is this the woman's restroom? Then she needs to remember Bo's reply and ask, am I a woman? If Bo says the same word, the restroom Amy is pointing at must be for women. And if Bo says a different word, the restroom is for men. A thief wanted to rob a local bank. He came up with a brilliant plan to dress up as one of the bank's clients and try to sneak into the vault. As he was approaching the vault, he saw a security guard standing right in front of the door. The robber hadn't anticipated this, so he hid and watched the guard carefully. When one of the actual bank clients walked up to the door, the security guard said, 12, and the client said, 6, and got inside. Then another client came up to the vault. When the security guard said 6, the person answered 3 and was granted access. Oh, I've totally got this, the robber thought. He nonchalantly walked up to the security guard. When the guard said 10, the robber confidently answered 5. He was arrested immediately. Why was his answer wrong, and what should he have answered instead? The correct response depends on the number of the letters in the word. 12 has 6 letters, so the answer is 6. 6 has 3 letters, so the answer is 3. As for 10, the robber should have said 3. Dave was on his way to a football match when he got a flat tire. He stopped on the roadside to fix it, but accidentally dropped all four wheel nuts into the sewer grate. There was no way to retrieve them. Dave was beginning to suspect that he would have to spend hours there when a car passing by stopped to help him. Dave told the driver about his problem, and the guy knew immediately what Dave needed to do. Dave managed to change the tire very quickly and went to the nearest service station to get his car properly fixed. What was the advice the guy gave Dave? That's easy. He told Dave to remove one nut from each of the other three wheels and use them to secure the new tire. Can you name one thing that all people on Earth are doing simultaneously? Getting older, duh! On a Monday morning, a big sum of money went missing from the accountant's safe. Three people were in the office at that time. Kate, the accountant, said she had left for several minutes to go to the bathroom. Walker, the IT manager, said he'd gone out for lunch and hadn't seen anything. Pete, a cleaning man, said he'd been cleaning the second floor at the time. Can you figure out who's lying? It's Walker. He said he'd been on his lunch break, but it was still morning at that time. In the afternoon, three people visited Tessa's clothing store. These three people were the only customers she had that day. The first person bought a belt and a purse. The second person bought a dress. And the third customer got a hat. One of them was a criminal, and Tessa immediately reported them to the police. Who is the criminal? And how did she know? The third person gave her a $1,000 bill, but such bills don't exist. 
On Halloween, Carrie decided to visit the spookiest house in the neighborhood. As soon as she got inside, the door locked behind her back. Luckily, she saw three ways out. However, behind the first door, there was a venomous snake. Behind the second door, there was toxic gas. And the third door was hiding a large lake. Which door should she choose? The last door. It's just a lake. She can swim across it. At Los Angeles Airport, the police were looking for a man that had smuggled some goods into the country. The only detail the police knew about the man was that he had a beard. They stopped a group of people that had just arrived from different countries. The detectives noticed three bearded men and interrogated them. Tom said he'd just arrived from London. It was a business trip. The second guy, Roberto, said he'd just come from Spain to visit his girlfriend. And the third man, Pierre, said he'd come from France. He was on vacation. The detectives didn't even need to check their plane tickets to figure out who the criminal was. And what do you think? It must be Pierre. Look, the guy doesn't have any luggage with him, but he said he'd come to LA on vacation. Noah reported to the police that someone had stolen his red motorbike the previous night. It disappeared right from his garage. The police started to search for it and tracked three main suspects. Take a look at them. Which one stole Noah's motorbike? It's this guy on the right. Look closely, his motorbike is painted, but under a layer of paint, you can spot some red color. He must have stolen it and painted it a different color, but you've caught him, good job. Sandra went to the police station to report a crime. She said she was in the bathroom in the mall, reapplying her makeup when someone came up to her from behind and hit her on the head. The officer asked her if she remembered anything about the robber but she said she hadn't seen anything since the criminal had approached her from behind. The police officer sent the woman home and refused to file the report. Why? The woman said she'd been fixing her makeup, so she had most likely been looking in the mirror. It means she would have seen the person approaching her from behind. She must be lying. Grace has seven sons, and each of them has a sister. How many children does Grace have in total? The answer is eight. If we consider that each son has the same sister, then it's seven sons plus one daughter, eight children in total. Anna runs a chocolate factory and she offers all her clients a special deal. Anyone can exchange five chocolate wrappers for one chocolate bar. Robert spent two weeks collecting the wrappers and managed to find 77. Can you tell what maximum number of chocolates he can get from Anna? Robert can get a total of 19 chocolates. Here's how it works. First of all, he can exchange 77 wrappers for 15 chocolates with two wrappers left. Then, after unwrapping the new 15 chocolate bars, Robert will be able to exchange 15 wrappers for three more chocolates. Now he can use the remaining two wrappers plus the new three wrappers to get one more chocolate bar. 15 plus three plus one equals 19. Oliver was sitting at his desk working from home when someone hit him on the head. He was taken to the nearest hospital. Meanwhile, the police found four suspects that could have been responsible for the crime. All of them, Oliver's neighbors. Amelia said she'd been walking in the park all morning. Henry explained he'd been painting in the studio and had heard nothing. Jacob said he'd been repairing his car. 
Sophia answered she'd been taking a bath for the past three hours. Can you figure out who is lying? Well, take a look at these people's hands. Henry and Jacob were probably wearing gloves during their activities, which would explain why their hands are clean. But Sophia's hands are smooth, and they would be all wrinkled if she had indeed spent over three hours in the water. She must be the culprit. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.